Good morning, hot dogs. Big broadcast, DECA, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Big broadcast is right around the corner. Mr. Taylor will be holding open auditions tomorrow on January 18th, right after school in the theater. Don't miss this opportunity to show off your amazing hidden talent and have some fun. If you have any questions, make sure to email Mr. Taylor as soon as possible. And students, make sure to not miss the hooligan show right after the Benton Central game on Friday. Mrs. Hale has received many new books in the library, including biographies, fiction and nonfiction, graphic novels, and Spanish titles. Ask your teachers for a pass to the library to check them out. Also, please know that the library is available during community for you to work on assignments with students from other community classes. Just get a pass from your community teacher. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Hale. Now to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Action-packed weekend as Emma starts it off by winning state. She traveled to Mooresville to compete in the girls' state. And to put the cherry on top, she won conference. Back-to-back -back wins for her. Congrats, Emma. The Lady Hot Dogs traveled to Weibo on Friday night and continued to play great on defense in a 53-24 loss. On the offensive end, Vanessa Guardo had nine, Daisy and Madison Cook with five, Jen Vessel with three, and Syra Flores had two. The Lady Hot Dogs travel to Clayton Prairie tonight, and if you can't make it, it will be live on the ISC Sports Network. And the boys also traveled to Weibo as they faced off against the Stars, and the dogs prevailing over the Stars 54-44 to in a back-and-forth game with both teams playing well, but the dogs playing better, forcing 14 turnovers and out-rebounding them, and a balanced scoring night for them, as Strode with 14, Farley with 10, and Kai with 9. And the JV boys traveled to Rossville in a win, the dogs continue to play well as they blow out the Hornets. In a packed gyna gymnasium, your dogs took down the Hornets, 61 to 51. Rossville only shooting 36 from the field. Balanced scoring again with Strode, 22, Kirby with 10, Wood and Perry with 8, and Farley with 7. Great game, guys. This is this weekend a rare home game, Friday against Ben Central and they'll be on the road again on Saturday. So come out and support your hot dogs. Now I'm gonna send it back to your host. Good morning. I hope you all had an awesome three day weekend. But as we walked in, it was a little chilly with us sitting at 43 degrees. We'll hit a high of 51 today and a low of 38 tonight with partly to mostly cloudy conditions. There's a 60% chance of rain tomorrow night going into Thursday morning. Prepare yourself for scattered rain showers and possibly some snow flurries. That's all for today's weather. Now, let's send it back to Carlos. Thanks, Emily. I meant to send it to Emily, but my fault. I can't talk today. And if you're not doing anything, anything tonight, come out and watch our four seniors wrestle, as it is senior night for them. Match, matches start at 6 against Twin Lakes. Be there. Now, I'm actually sending it back to your host. Thanks, Carlos. Sports marketing students competed 18 weeks managing their hot dog football league professional teams. The HDFL Super Bowl game was played two weeks ago, and congratulations to senior Celeste Rodriguez for the huge win against Brian Flores. Final score was 57 to 39. Good luck to all the sports marketing students as they enter the Hot Dog Basketball Association season. And on Saturday, January 7th, seven Frankfurt High School DECA members competed in the DECA District 4 Conference. Frankfurt marketing students competed against Fishers, Hamilton Heights, Westfield, and more. The following students qualified for state competition, so congratulations to Daniela Cruz, Jade Carbajal, Naley Salinas, and Edwin Wayne Scott, as well as Alex Lopez. Way to make us proud, dogs. For lunch today, lines one and two is chicken snack wrap, while line three is potato soup and salad bar, and line four is bread and mozzarella sticks with marinara. And a very special happy birthday goes out to Juan Carbajal, Cameron Queen, and Kara Schwartz. That's all for today's news, dogs. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we hope to see you all tomorrow.